wondering how to send emails in your Node.js application, worry no more. In this episode of To The Point Code, we look at how to send emails in a Node.js application using NodeMailer. We consider two approaches and later try it out using an actual form interface. All you need is a Gmail account, so let's jump right into it. To start, we head to the command line and create our application. Now we are creating a Node.js application, which means that you should have Node.js installed. If you don't have Node.js installed, I'll link a video up here and also put it in the description for you. So first, we create a folder for our project. Now inside the project, we run npm in it. For any option we want to keep, we we'll just go ahead and press enter. Now once we are done, we have to install a few packages. First, we install Express, which is a Node.js framework. Also, we install Nodemon, which we'll be using to run our project. In addition to that, we install NodeMailer. This will help us to send the emails. Also, we install .env. This will provide a means for us to store some sensitive values securely. Also, we need to install course. Course will make it possible to connect external applications to our backend. Once the installation has completed, we open our project in the code editor. Now, the first thing we need to do is to create our server.js file. Also, we create our .env file. Now, if you'll be managing your project with Git, you have to ensure that you've added the node models and also .env to your .gitignore file. Now we start writing some code in the server.js file. Now we want to set up a very basic server, so let's import some packages. Also, we need a port for the server to listen to. In this case, we use port 5000. We'll be making use of .env values, so let's import the .env config. Also, we'll be working with some form inputs later, so we need to add body parser. Now we listen to the port. Now at this point, to be able to run the project, we need to set up a script. So inside the package.json file, we set up a script using NodeMon. Now 
Now we can start our project by running npm run dev. So we visit the command line. Now we see that our server is running on port 5000. So the first approach to sending the email is to use login credentials. In this case, we are making use of a Gmail account. So what we need to do is to import node mailer. Now using the node mailer, we create a transporter. This transporter will carry our message from the source to the destination. Now this will take a few properties. First, it will take a service property and it will have a value of Gmail. The next property is an auth object. Now at this point, we provide a user and a pass value. The user refers to your Gmail account and the pass refers to your password. But for the email and password values, it is not advisable to expose them in your code. So we make use of the .env file and declare our values there. So first we create an auth email. This will be our email. The next thing is the password. For the password, I'm not going to show it to you. <laughs> Once we are done, we can refer to them in the code using process.env dot the name of the variable. Now we test if the transporter is ready to send our emails. So back on the command line, we see that our transporter is ready for messages and we have true here, which is the value of the success. Now let's create a route to send the email. So we'll create a post route with send mail endpoint. Now the data that we'll be using for our email will be passed through the request. That's why we added the body parser here. So from the body of the request, we'll take three properties. So the first property is the email address that we want to send the email to, followed by the subject and also the actual message. Now we have to prepare a mail options object. This will take the options that we will send as the email. The first property is from, and that will be our email. The next is where we are sending the email to. And that will be the value that we took from the body of our request. Next, we add the subject in the message. Now, if you want to pass some HTML to start the message, maybe pass a link for the recipient to click on, you can replace the text property here with HTML. Now, at this point, we send the mail using the send mail property on the transporter. And this will take the mail options. 
Now this returns a promise, so let's handle it. Now if an error occurs, we want to log the error to the console. We also want to return a JSON object. Now inside the then block is when our message is successful. So over here, we return a JSON object with a success message. We see that everything is still fine with our server. Now let's try sending an email using Postman. We will do it with an interface later on. So inside the Postman, we create a new request. And this will be a post request. Now let's put in our API endpoint. Our endpoint is send mail. So now as the body of the request, we supply a JSON object containing the properties that we specified. Once we are done, we can send the request. Let's fix our link here. It should be HTTP. Now we can try sending. Now on sending, we see that an error occurred. And the error is displayed on the console. Now we are seeing invalid login. This is because Google does not know our application yet. So you have to manually log in into our account and tweak some settings. So let's head to the browser. Now we visit Gmail settings. Now we have to make sure of a few things. First, we have to ensure that Twisted Verification is off. And also we have to enable access by less secure applications. So over here, we click on turn on access and we turn it on over here. Good. The last thing we do is to allow access to our Gmail account by using Gmail Capture. We click on display unlock capture. Now all we need to do here is to click on continue. Now we are done and we can try sending the mail in our application again. So let's head to Postman. So we try sending the mail again. And now we see that we have a success response. So now let's visit this email account here and check our inbox. So now checking the inbox, we see that we have our message here. And the content of the message is just as we sent. If you don't see the message in your regular inbox, then you have to check your spam. And that's all for this section. We proceed in the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe for more to the point code.